Las Vegas. This is the Morning Blend Extra. I'm Sean Tempesta. In vitro fertilization, it allows couples to achieve the dream of becoming parents, but not everyone has the means to afford it. That's why Red Rock Fertility has teamed up with an organization to help support families overcome infertility. Here with more is Dr. Eva Littman, as well as Erin Rutten, both with Red Rock Fertility Center. Welcome to the both of you. How are you? Great. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Uh, Dr. Littman, let's talk about you, what, who you are and what it is that you do. Well, I'm an infertility specialist and I founded Red Rock back in 2008 mm -hmm. and since then we've helped over thousands of couples um, become pregnant and expand their families and uh, it's a wonderful thing. I have the best career in the world mm -hmm. and I really enjoy it and so uh, what we, what I specialize in is challenging um, situations, mm -hmm. uh, very difficult situations, especially people who failed uh, previous uh, treatment at other centers, and then also um, people who want to preserve their fertility. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what we're doing is we're going to be having a event where we've teamed up with the Cade Foundation in order to help couples be able to afford this type of treatment. Yeah, Erin, let's talk about this, the Fertilivine event. Yes, the Fertilivine event. We are teaming up with, as she said, uh, Rock and Roll Wine and mm -hmm. the Cade Foundation Excellent. to have an amazing evening of wine tasting, silent auction, live music, hors d'oeuvres. Uh, it's all taking place on Saturday, October 4th, and it's going to be held at the View Wine Bar and Kitchen, which is located in Tivoli Village. Mm -hmm. And um, we're, uh, the Cade Foundation, a little bit about them, uh, all proceeds from the event will go to them, but what they are is a national nonprofit organization. They help couples that are struggling with infertility to be able to um, financially afford either IVF or adoption. Mm -hmm. And it really, it's an, a very important thing to have this kind of financial assistance, because let's face it, it's not in inexpensive. It can right. be quite, quite expensive right. at times. Absolutely, yeah. it, it really isn't, and only a third of the time uh, fertility treatments are only covered by insurance. Oh, wow. So that's really rough and that can be really taxing on a couple and for them to already be going through this experience emotionally to be able to be told that they might not be able to have children mm -hmm. because their finances won't allow, yeah. that's rough. So that's why we teamed up with the Cade Foundation because we want to be able to give back to our patients and hopefully help some of them be able to become parents. Which is phenomenal. Um, and just one thing to note, um, we I forgot to mention, the biggest thing is we are giving away or we're raffling off a free IVF cycle at the end of the event. Phenomenal. Yes, so you don't have to be present to win and it is transferable. So we encourage others in the community, friends, family members of people that are struggling with infertility to purchase a ticket and come attend the event. That's phenomenal. Uh, doctor, let's talk about the statistics mm -hmm. behind infertility. It's something that not a lot of people are, want to be very open about but the statistics, statistics rather are there and they're relatively high. Yeah, consider. unfortunately the incidence of infertility is increasing dramatically. Yeah. I have very good job security. Yeah, I always joke about that. Um, but I think it's due to the environment. About one in six uh, people are suffering from infertility. I think people nowadays in reproductive age range of 25 to 45, usually you can't be out at a social event or talking with one of your friends and find that one of them is not uh, struggling with infertility. So um, it's turning out to be close to 8 million uh, wow. in the U.S. Wow. Uh, that are affected by uh, infertility. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I think it's a large part due to environmental changes that are occurring. Yes. And um, so what we have to do is, you know, we that's what I'm here for and other fertility centers are here for. We're here to help people expand their families. Mm -hmm. And I think it's becoming a lot more acceptable uh, as a way to uh, get that assistance to do that. And we're very lucky to have the Cade Foundation um, in Las Vegas because they are a nation national uh, foundation, but they have uh, spotted us out as a uh, center in order to help people financially um, in order to afford IVF and well, so that is great that's wonderful you're affording families the gift of life which yes, is really uh, something you can't take away it's a real pleasure thank you so much thank you thank you it's a pleasure having you uh, help others overcome infertility the Fertilivine event it happens Saturday October 4th at View Wine Bar and Kitchen in Tivoli Village uh, Red Rock Fertility they're teaming up with the Cade Foundation and Rock and Roll Wine for the event VIP happy hour is from 6 until 7 the main event is from 7 until 9 and if you want any information on Red Rock Fertility Center you can call the number on the screen or visit the website you see there as well have a great day Vegas